public reaction had a devastating impact on Kubrick and his family. The attack on Clockwork Orange was fierce in Britain. It was uh, unbelievable. He was directly accused of murder and mayhem. And um, then every crime in England was, was because of Clockwork Orange. Stanley was accused of in inciting violence. And I mean, yeah, it became very, very ugly. Uh, be, yeah, he got terrible letters, uh, yeah, almost death threats. In fact, there were some death threats. He asked Warners, can you, can you please help me? I can't live here if, if, if this keeps going on. I'm afraid to send my children to school. My house is besieged. I don't know what to do. I'm, I don't want to show the film anymore. A Clockwork Orange had been playing successfully for 61 weeks, but continuing press attacks and repeated threats of violence against him and his family drove Kubrick to withdraw the film from British cinemas. It was an astonishing display of director power. What came over to us was that, that, that a filmmaker should have that, one, have the kind of power that he had to be able to do it. Because I think there's no other filmmaker, actually, who could ever stop any uh, studio distributing their film because, you know, studios are about making money. So for him to be able to have the power to do that was always astonishing to us. So particularly, I remember me as a young filmmaker thinking, it's extraordinary that someone could do that. But more than that is that actually that, that uh, he had the will to do it. It hurt him financially, but he didn't care about that. And it hurt Warner Brothers even more financially, but they obliged because it, it wasn't worth it to them, having peace with Stanley and making more films with Stanley and having Stanley under contract for the rest of his life. That was much more important to Warner Brothers than whether the Clockwork Orange plays in England or not. For the release of A Clockwork Orange, Kubrick went way beyond the role of a director, persuading Warner Brothers to adopt his ideas about how the film should be sold to the public. If you've taken all the trouble with you know, pre-production, with the shooting, with the post-production, and all the, you know, trying to get the film together and to, you know, approach it in so many different ways. I mean, why, why do you not be a part of it just when the public's gonna see it? If I'm not incorrect, Clockwork Orange was the second largest grossing film in the history of Warners after My Fair Lady. And I used to meet with the fine distribution guys and say, well, wait a minute. What we're doing here is following Stanley's instruction and we're getting a remarkable result. We're grossing huge numbers on a picture that you predicted would be a catastrophe because it was so inaccessible. Is it not possible that he knows something that we don't know? Is it not possible that doing it his way is a better way? Or no, no, he doesn't know, he's just a pain in the ass.